Hey guys, it's me, Pikmin Master123, here with another episode. Now it's been a while since I have done my last episode, but today we are starting this game, and and I'm pretty excited because a new update just came out, and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. We will hop into the story now. And let's see. Ah, I see the Queen has taken well to her new home. It's, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Okay. Okay, now let's hop into this little... Come on now, my little lads. You need space to grow. Dig, dig, dig. Um, right now, this is only the beginning area. And if you notice, in the top right, we have our evolution tree. In which we can use to upgrade different things. But this costs this special type of resource called Royal Dead Jelly and we will get that by playing different missions Actually, let's put these food storage areas so that we can get more food supply up near this. Uh, this is the front part of the base. It'll be like the main area that you'll be putting. And here's where all the food is located. Um, right now, we're just starting this new colony and new gameplay. So we need to start adding some ants. Now you guys can pause the video and look at these if you want, but um, I'm not really going to uh, look at them. Um, I also uh, put it on so that we can see the number of food and the health of our ants. Um, Uh. 
and that if you, as you can see, these are just the normal workers. Yeah, the workers, right now they're just, they have very low health and very low attack. They're not that good, but they can be useful at times. And let's hop straight in to the first step. Uh, challenge and let's go at it, in on it hard. If I can't be a level on insane, I will move down to a lower difficulty like my other games and let's play. Um, this is the first. Level. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. As you can see, the question marks are bugs, this, the little uh, things are different types of dead uh, things or bugs and then you have your plus these exclamation marks which are unmarked enemies. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Now, what I'm creating right here are called soldier ants. And they're pretty much your entirety their attack force. You have the worker, and then you have like the black ant with those soldiers. Um, this is only the beginning enemy, and you will be seeing much harder things later on. That went flying. Uh, we're going to have to start digging into some enemies here. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. There are intruders in the nest. And so pretty much the goal is to kill all... If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Pretty much 
pretty much this is only the first um, of the missions and they will get harder over time. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Get all of my units over here. And we're gonna attack this small group. There are intruders in the nest. Also, this material right here is stone and you cannot break it, however you can break the normal dirt. There are intruders in the nest. Pretty much, the objective is to kill all creatures, however if your queen dies, you will lose the capacity of making new ants, so, and you also fail the mission. The main priority of every mission is to make sure that she survives. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. around a certain amount of tile, you can upgrade it for the same price, but you don't get an additional ant, you just make one ant better, and they also get more health. 
the workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. We still need to clear out a good amount of this base. Okay. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. So there are two types of food. One is bigger, and you have an ant takes a ton. It takes an ant a while to harvest it, bring it back, and then come back to get more of that. Or you have the smaller version that they can just carry back in one piece. There are two ways that you can play this level. Number one is you can just build one thing and upgrade all your soldiers to a high amount or build a mass amount of soldiers. Either way can work. colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. If you hover over these, it shows you how they take 50 food to place, 5 to hat. Um, the workers are a lot cheaper, but they don't do as much as the soldiers. In most circumstances, the workers are useless in the first few. Buying extra workers are useless in most circumstances in the first few levels. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. We have the advantage of stronger units and bigger numbers at this moment. However, they'll still have the advantage of bigger numbers.
predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. We're gonna try and hit this area. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. And I think this will be a lot. Yep, I used to remember where all of these used to be. The queen is in imminent but... danger. Yeah, there's nothing really I can do. The queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. Most young. Oh. So there is. This is a sort of an add on to the game that they made in the later versions. Uh, you also have the surface up here, and uh, sometimes random bugs will appear, and they, and you also get food supplies. I'm gonna jump back into this and see if we can beat it on this mode. This Formica Fusca Queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. I think the first round was sort of bit off a little bit more than we could do.
As you can see, there are a bunch of The workers, workers have uncovered, uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipasolens, the, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. There are intruders in the nest. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them.
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Intruders in the nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Bigger area soon. Fruit is in the nest. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. There will be enough food now. Oh, 
we're gonna try and take this one. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Right now, it's so cold benefits them the most because of the ants. have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ant. This is the first primary um, enemy that you will find. Um, it's sort of like the boss of this um, challenge or level, as you can call it. That. The ants must protect the queen. Queen is in imminent danger. must protect the queen. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. The queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. Most young ant colonies will end this way. Just another meal for the creatures of the undergrowth. And yet another lot. I used to be able to beat this on the hardest difficulty, but... This Formica Fusca Queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. 
Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Intruders in the nest. If the answer disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution.
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Fruit is in the nest. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Intruders in the nest. Thank you. 
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. All the ants don't even carry most of them. In hard and impossible modes, you normally find the the adult beetle here and there. In most cases. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. And now all we will have to worry about is this big. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood.
right here will be the last area we have to defeat until we win. Intruders in the nest. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Now, here's the last There are thing. intruders in the nest. Spring, it makes all the ants go everywhere and not attack. And that is the last level. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. successfully won. How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. workers have raised the first Formica Fusca ant. Finally, we have the opportunity to observe multiple species within the same colony.
Um, right here is, this is a special thing. It's the maximum amount of ants that you can have. As you can see, the total of this is this, and... It's pretty much the only annoying part of the game, at this, in this area. And also, um, the more you play this, the more points you will get that you can spend on upgrades. If you see here, there are different types. Upon dropping to 75% health, the queen will fall, spawn 14 royal guards for uh, 60 seconds, and empty nurseries will. Every egg in these places will instantly hats so if you have any ants on the field anywhere in your nest they will instantly hats to defend the queen and instantly respawn and then we have this which the queen's ha uh, uh, health will go back to the max uh, or and you can only choose one of these you can't choose this and this you have to choose one uh, there's either Royal Decree, which no series will spawn their own eggs, and they will hatch instantly. Or, this, which gives you a massive boost to the army at one point. And various other upgrades. I'm gonna go and upgrade their attack damage really quick. And there is a point to building your nest up in here, as you will soon see afterwards. Um, before I end the video, I think we're going to try to take up, take on this. that last bit completed, we're going to take on Subjugation. This for Mika Fusca Black Ant Queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers established their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of Formica Sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would-be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the black ant colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, 
they may be wiped out entirely. Formica sanguinea are not the only danger for the fledgling colony. There is something even more sinister nearby, lurking in the darkness. As you can see, there are these little tunnels, and they, you can see the light on the other side, which means they lead to the surface. We want to get as many soldiers as we can while, while it's permitted. Sigestria Florentina, a funnel-web spider. She is large, fast, and equipped with a deep, powerful bite. Her lair is carpeted by sheets of silk woven between tripwires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her sensitive legs. Any ant that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. So pretty much, it'll go very fast, grab your ant, Take it away, and then he's instantly dead the second he goes in there. Or gets taken in there. Which really does not uh, help at all. A Sanguinea scout has sensed the presence of the Black Ants. A raid on the colony is now inevitable. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young, or wipe out the colony entirely. In the end, it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. Why aren't they attacking? Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Dang, you took my food. By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Her sisters, however, still present a problem. That's what I was worried about the second I started making the... Um, during 
every now and then you will actually receive a raid in which your colony will be attacked by the other colony. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. The raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They must be stopped. And all of them were taken out. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe. For now. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The bad part is that these will start going down into there. Stop gathering food for a second. Take all of you down. Gather food again and then get up here. We'll get these spiders, take these spiders out in a second. And yeah, another way to. Yeah, this next raid, we gotta get ready for that. Um, we're halfway to what we need for Sultan. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. The raiding party was no match for the Valiant Defenders. The brood remains safe for now. And we successfully fended them off. And we're almost towards what we need to be. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Here comes all the food, and now we can uh, attack this area before we move on to the left side. This area is one of the, it's the harder side to defeat because of just the mass number of spiders. Okay, and now we'll go down here and exterminate this side. Actually, we'll have to defend this wave, and then we'll have enough time, then we'll take out this. 
The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. There are intruders in the nest. And here's what we need to happen right here. Once we take out this, because once the masses get in here, they just get severely attacked the second they try and grab an ant. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Take that guy out and then go down there. There are intruders in the nest. Workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. And here come the there is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. Oh, he almost got away with one of them. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. At those guys again. The devil's court for beetle. Workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. And 
the next raid will be in 22 seconds. And then we'll take out and clean this area up. And then I think that will be the end. There is no respite from the culling. Yes, the sanguineo will subjugate or exterminate. And the last of them have been taken out. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. And all the enemies are almost dead. We only have this one last area to clean up, and then we can finish this thing. After the workers are being built now. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. And this will be the last to survive the final wave. And that will be in. 27 seconds. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. And we have successfully cleaned up the entirety of the nest. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. A lot of them are getting through, and we successfully beat Once the again, the slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great Black Ant Empire. And I'm gonna get the extra oil jelly for a few points, and that's gonna be the end of the video. Okay, and... How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Reduce physical damage. Increase attack speed. Increases health.
Sorry about that. I uh, something happening. Sorry about that loud noise guys, I had to fix something. I hope you guys enjoyed, and, well, bye.